what's up guys and welcome to the channel this is gonna be a fighter's guide and first things first I want to say a big thanks to my buddy Keith um, she was really helpful in making of this video because we actually had a lot of deals in order for me to perfect this set for the fighters class <laughs> um, so thank you so much Keith I'm sorry for the about 17 deals or is it 18 <laughs> sorry about that and all right if you haven't subscribed to the channel please hit the subscribe icon really appreciate it and enjoy the video so the fighter class um this is a very special class um it's quite useful and popular at the lower levels that's from the level 105 below or is it 110 below but from the higher levels this class isn't that popular i mean a perfect proof of this is from checking the rankings i mean i'm, I'm ranked seventh <laughs> can you imagine classes like the phantom sounds and even the skateboarders i are more popular than the fan than the fighter class right now <laughs> but anyhow we're gonna make the we're making the video we're making a guide so the first thing you understand with the fighter class uh, is there are three modes you have your fighter for fighter skills and your robot skills and the third mode would be your merged form where you actually combine yourself with your robot there the fighters have two main skills which are their punches and their kicks now the best thing to do is to combine your skills that's your kicks and punches into making insane good combos combos that will benefit you for the start of the fighter it's best to focus on your physical attack and fire attack followed by your attack power which is already suggested by the game then your critical level and defenses get this up finally you have to get as much hp as you can cdr is something that can be walked around but if you do want to add this you can add this but it's not a stat that is super important for the fighter class because your two main skills do not require any CDR at all okay and even the other power-up skill which is this one can easily be walked around and reset instantly now for the cause of the fighter the first and most important core build I'd suggest is 9 fire 5 wind and 2 water but you could also remove that water for earth the second build for the fighter class in my opinion would be 9 wind 5 fire and 2 earth or 2 water now for the allies of the fighter the first and most important ally I'll suggest for anyone would be Nono the second ally I'll suggest for the fighter class would be the main airy that's your main airy she is going to be very useful for the for the fighters and if you want a third choice you can use a, an ally like Johan and that'll be it for the allies now to explain the skills of the fighters like I said earlier you do have two main skills which are your punches and your kicks with these two skills you can combine them in different ways to form combos now these combos are gonna be very helpful for you in either stunning your opponent or dealing increased damage but I'm gonna give you a simple combo you can use here which includes three punches one kick and two punches like I said I favor punches than kicks because the animation for punches are a lot shorter than kicks a simple example is this see that and the other exactly. skills include your flying swallow which is this after you perform that, it's best to perform a punch or a kick and it's going to do a very good combo for you. Next is the black fire punch, which is this. You can charge it up, but I suggest you don't in PvP. Do not charge this skill. It's going to take your time and you're going to be receiving a lot of damage while you're charging it up. And finally, you have your buff up skill, which increases your defenses and damage you deal. This is very very important skill for you. It also gives you super armor, so people like the soul dancers will be unable to stun you for the duration of this skill and the best part is if you time it properly you can keep your super armor on with just this continuously or almost throughout the deal for the robot form you have your missile launching 
it deals a lot of damage and these missiles track the opponents next will be the shield the shield stays on the robot but there's a talent that can make this shield appear on you the third skill of the robot form is cross impact you and your robots dash at the opponents dealing damage and it gives you a 10% increase to your charging which is this and the final skill of the robot in normal mode will be this I call it the Kameha charging <laughs> it deals a lot of damage but your robot is quite vulnerable during that state and the damage is only dealt in a straight line and finally you have your merging you combine with your robot and you perform insane amount of damage And now for the talents of the fighter class. In the talent section, there are two main talents I use for the fighter class. The third is hybrid, um, it's a work in progress. So the first is fighter, second is robotics, and the third is hybrid. I use fighter build for mainly PvP. Almost anything PvP, I use fighter. I use robotics for PvE. And hybrid is something I'm working on to try and see if I can make a build that works for both PvP and PvE. Uh, it's not perfected yet, but I will still show it to you guys and you can decide if you want to use it or not So for fighter I use Flurry combo here not final Flurry, Flurry combo is best for PvP in my opinion Although the final says it increases the damage of all your combos as your punch punch kick 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 punch Whatever combo you use increase the damage by 25% but I think flurry combo is better and I will show you why right now. So first let's use final and perform all our combos as much as we can. First let me show you my physical attack. This is it, 298,000. Keep this in mind now, alright? So I'm going to perform as much combo as I can. And the highest my attack goes is 434,000. All right, so now we'll switch to flurry combo and I'll show you guys something quite crazy right now. Five hundred and four thousand. <laughs> yeah yeah and this is my original attack so my attack increased by at least 200,000 with just the addition of flurry combo and that's just a silly level talent <laughs> all right so i use this as long as you keep attacking and switching your combos properly your attack will keep on going as high as that that's the importance of flurry combo so now it's just you have to choose do you want to increase your attack by 200,000 or do you want to just increase it by 50,000 or 60,000 and have a 20% increase in the damage your combo deals it's your choice really but for me flurry combo all the way the B level talent conflagration deals with this your third skill every time you inflict this third skill on an opponent they will have a bone mark on them that deals damage to them so every time you perform your punch move which is punch 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 this one after performing this and you perform your punch 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 it's gonna deal extra damage to your opponent at this stage it's 175,000 extra damage to them for the deep talents The robotics deals mainly in PvE. I use this mainly for player vs monsters. It focuses on my robot mode, getting me into robot mode as fast as I can because the fighter class deals it the most damage when it's in its robot form.
and for the hybrid this remember is the experimental build I was working on <laughs> For PVE, I'd suggest you use Indra. This is perfect for PVE. And for PVP, I think Onikatsu is the best one. Now for the support EX, I have experimented with quite a few and I think the best EX for the fighter, and this is especially for players above level 110, would be Royal Fire. You could see mine is already at level 8, followed by Dust Buster. This is this is best for all levels, like Dust Buster is perfect for every level. The only issue I have with it is the cooldown time. So I think Royal Fire is better than this in that aspect. But for below level 110, Dust Buster is best. Next will be Scotch. And finally, Holy Judgment. For the Dragons, I think Serpent Steel is very good for fighters. It has the ability to reduce physical and magic defenses. Then followed by a lot of the sky and wind. This can add to your super armor <coughs> and increase your movement speed. So this is very good. If you want if you do not have these two dragons, which is Serpent Steel or Lord of Sky and Wind, then you can either use Norton or Leviathan. Now for the gears, um, the fighter class is quite diverse. Before choosing your set as a fighter, you have to be sure, do you die before getting to your robot mode or do you survive longer? It's just your robot dies before you can awaken. Now if it's either of these, you might want to use a life saving set. Six pieces of Krakens or whatever life saving set you have can make a difference. Trust me, it can make a difference. I have used this before. Use either of that and you'll be able to survive longer to get into your robot mode. Even if your robot dies, you can always switch into you could always switch into this nano repair for it to come back a lot faster so you can actually awaken. So with a six piece set of Kraken or Reviving Ouroboros or whatever life saving set you have, you can survive to your robot mode. I figure out that this is the problem with the fighter class. The robot dies either too fast or when it's time for you to merge with it, its health is either almost completely gone or it's not even there. So with this, you can actually survive longer and get into your robot mode. Next you will be either you go full DPS. That is, you complete six pieces suitors and four pieces frigger. Use both of these. The four piece frigger will help you to CC your opponents, and the six pieces damage set will help you deal more damage per second. And that's the set I'll suggest for the fighter class. For each, whatever level you are, I'm sure you can find six piece or four piece of whichever set you need and combine them for this. You can also experiment more to find the one that suits you best. For seven scenes, I'll suggest quite a few 7 scenes. The first and best 7 scenes I'll suggest for the fighter will be Pride, followed by Wrath. These two 7 scenes are very good and very useful for the fighter class. If you do not have any of these, you could always just keep on using Filth. I mean, Filth is best for any PvP situation, if you ask me. And that will be it for the 7 scenes of the fighter class. Now, there's something you should know about the fighter class it's not easy. I will not suggest a newcomer use this class, it's quite difficult to master. If you do not know how to play it properly, you're just going to die everywhere and almost every time. Especially in things like Desert Road, which is a battleground. Uh, maybe even if you go into Snow Moon Battleground, that's a lot better. But if you go into things like Desert Road or any group PvP situations like Bomb, yeah, you're going to be dying a lot. <laughs> Trust me, it's gonna be dying a lot. 
there's a reason why a lot of people are not using this class right now <laughs> but anyhow that will be it for the video i hope this helped you please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you did learn something from this video i hope to see you guys in the next video and have a very good week <laughs> take care